Okay, I'm going to show a quick little tutorial on how I um, created a little round monogram. This one isn't mine, but this is what I was using for my sample. So first I'm going to take a circle. I'm using my ellipse drawing tool. Hold my shift key down while I draw that. And I'll just make it, I don't know, somewhere between three and a half and four inches. And then I'm going to get my type tool over here. Just click down and type my initials and I like the font impact so if you need to change the font you just highlight it and change your font over here um, just a good block font is probably best alright so I'm gonna kind of position that in the middle of the circle I'm gonna hold my alt key while I drag the corner handles to make it all grow at the same time just keep repositioning it um, make it taller by dragging a, a um, side handle so I'm just going to play with it for a minute keeping that M centered Alright, when I've got that about where I want it, remember you can use your arrow keys to nudge things just a slight bit. Okay, now those letters, I'm going to ungroup them down in here in the bottom corner or Control U or Command U on a Mac. Now I'm going to make this middle M taller to fill up that space. My W needs to be narrowed down a little. And my K looks uh, about right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I want those to look even along the bottom edge. Okay, now I want to select just the letters. I don't want that circle in there, so I'm going to hold shift while I click on it to deselect it. And never mind, I want to make a copy of this circle because I'm going to use one of my modify tools. I always make a copy first. So hold my control key or command while I um, click and drag on that circle and it makes an exact copy I can place where I want. Now I want to make sure this circle is in the very front. I want to select all of those. I'm going to go to my modify window over here and choose crop. So now I've got my basic circle shape for those. I want to bring this circle back over, position it about where it was. I'm going to zoom in at this point so I can get where I want. Okay, so now we get into the point editing. We use our circle as a guide. I'm going to double click on this, drag my up to meet that line there. Also this one. And just try and keep general proportion. I've got a straight line there so I'm just going to add a point. I could make a curve. Um, I don't think I really need it so I'm going to undo that and drag this down here same thing with the W just going to drag it to kind of fill that shape
once that circle's gone, you won't really see the tiny details. And this may not be, um, it, it probably depends on your letters you've chosen and your font. So I just changed my fill color there. I'm going to change my line color here. And I'll go ahead and group it. And that gives me a circular monogram, round monogram and just play with it as much as you want. Take it how you want it.